Hey, this is Jordan and Carrie with OESD, and hey, today, girl. it's your birthday! Not really, <laughs> but if somebody you know's birthday's coming up, or you've just ever thought, my goodness, I'd like to embroider on greeting cards, it's kind of like your birthday, because today we're going to dive into how to create cards with your embroidery machine. Yeah, it's really a super easy process, and once you start doing it, I think you're going to be addicted, because you will never be caught in a situation where you don't have the right card, uh, as long as you have your embroidery library all stuck docked up. Um, and as long as you follow our gentle guidelines, um, you will have perfect success and uh, be able to crank out a card, you know, 2 a.m. when you remember the night before that it's somebody's birthday. Yeah. So if this is your first uh, video lesson and event with OESD, you might be wondering, who are these crazy people and why should I listen to them? Um, so just briefly, OESD <laughs> stands for Oklahoma Embroidery Supply and Design. And for about uh, the last 30 years, uh, us and well, not us exactly, right? We <laughs> haven't been here for 30 years. Um, but our team has been creating embroidery designs and greeting cards. And um, as far as it goes, embroidery. and lace and yeah, all kinds of good you might have stitched out one of our designs before. If not, if a friend invited you or your local shop invited you to watch this video, well, you're in for a ton of fun. Yeah. And we will do our best over the next little bit of time to entertain you mm -hmm. and maybe pass on a little bit of information. Yep. We're going to give you kind of the 10,000 foot view of creating greeting cards in the hoop. Um, like I said, super easy. Uh, you sure. can certainly find more information on our website um, or on your local shop's website. They may even yep. have a class. Um, but so we're going to give you the, the uh, things you need to know, and then um, hopefully you can at least have the building blocks to get started uh, making your own cards. Yeah, and then we're going to try to sell you something. Okay, so that's just kind of how this goes. Yeah, so, you know. Anyway, part of the fun. But it's stuff you're going to need. So All right. It's, so let's talk about making cards. Let's do it. So the most important thing, I would say, is having the right supplies. Mm -hmm. uh, cards are kind of particular because you, it is easier to do this with the uh, with a better quality uh, blank card and having the right tools sure. because you're embroidering on paper which seems sort of crazy if you've never done it and if you use the wrong if you use a lighter weight paper or a yeah. an inexpensive card blank mm -hmm. you can just kind of perforate right through it and then maybe yeah. say those you're bad words in your head punching cards out instead of making cards yeah well then it's a whole different thing you got like a pop-up Card. No. Yep. Okay. So, but before we get to the the supplies, the design is just as important. Um, certain designs are created for embroidering on cards and making embroidered greeting cards. Yep. Um, and some designs that aren't designed for cards will work, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But your best guess is to always start with a card design. Mm -hmm. So, uh, why a card design? Jump ahead one, please, for me. Um, so and here's an example of a few different so awesome. card designs. Yeah, sorry. Um, you have some designs that are all stitching. You have some that are going to have applique, like our applique greetings collection. Um, some that'll use like a red work style um, that could also be used outside of greeting cards, but are digitized for greeting cards. Mm -hmm. um, so speaking of digitizing for greeting cards. Why OESD designs? Mm -hmm. So we talked about we've been doing this for a little while. So... <laughs> How this works is that every design we create uh, starts here in Oklahoma. Uh, our artists draw the design working with the digitizers. We test those designs out. Um, and once we know that it's good to go, that then becomes an OESD card collection. Yep, or any collection for that matter. True. We spend a ton of time testing um, designs that are made for cards. Yep. Um, one of the reasons we developed our own line of embroidery blanks to start here, um, blank cards, is that we needed something consistent to test on and yep. that we could say to you, if you use this product, we know this will work because we've done it in-house. Um, so we start with your finished um the stitching technique in in mind and we think a lot about how you're going to be doing this process and how you're going to be stitching uh, a lot of time between the art department and the digitizers and you can see in this hogs and kisses which i have here it's so cute um the the pig the hog is created with a sort of a light stitching technique mm -hmm. so it's a, a almost like a zigzag stitch and that is so it doesn't perforate your card. So you can imagine if you had a really dense satin stitch, all of those needle penetrations essentially create a perforated hole, hole in your card. So uh, we spent a lot of time making sure that we are digitizing for the end technique. Cool. 
So a lot of our designs are going to have a large and a small size because yep. there's five by seven, four by six card stock, depending on uh, how much you. We wanna, sell both sizes. Depending on how much you want to write inside that card. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of the four by six size because it's just easier to fill it up. You can just say thanks. Yeah, make Jordan. it look exactly. Like it took a little <laughs> bit more time. Um, just a couple notes. We don't recommend you resize um, because when you do that, you have the possibility you're going to move some of those stitches around, and it's just mm -hmm. more likely you're going to mess up your card. Um, and then, as always, um, the less dense design, the better. You're going to see with our designs we digitized, we worked really hard on that. Yep. Um, and, of course, no mirroring because you might put your words backwards. Yeah, I mean, you can mirror in some cases, but there's a lot of things. If you're using applique or doing words, if you mirror... Yeah. It gets kind of fun. Yeah, it can okay. be magic trick. So that was the quick kind of overview on the basics on just why you need card design. Now mm -hmm. let's show you the process of embroidering a card, and uh, then we'll answer some questions about it. Um, talk to that in a little bit more detail and um, just kind of hopefully this will make it really self-explanatory so you're ready to start embroidering greeting cards. It's, um, it's a really neat process, and you can see that, um, you know, we, we do ours in a little bit of a different way than yep. some, some other companies do. Um, I love that we embroider essentially on that half of card. You saw that yep. in the video, and then fuse it to a blank card, and then that creates that perfect inside. And one of our educators, um, Sheldon, gave me a really great tip. I don't know if I told you this, but if you ever have issues with when you press the mm -hmm. half card to the full card. If you ever have issues with the card sort of curling a little bit, um, well, first of all, don't ever use steam. I mean, that seems obvious, yeah. but we've all <laughs> pushed that button. Uh, you mm -hmm. don't want to use steam with paper. But if you ever have issues where the card sort of curls a little bit, what he does is he actually pre-presses his blank card. Uh -huh. And he said that that prevents any sort of like cupping or curving um, from the heat affecting the paper, which yeah. I have not really had that problem, but I've heard other people who do. No. So if you ever have that issue, that's our, our pro tip for the, uh, for the day. Pre-press your blank card before you fuse it and you may um, not have that problem. Okay, so let's go through the kind of the directions again. Um, so we start with one of our card blanks and then we cut it in half. Uh, right along the fold line, mm -hmm. uh, and then that is then what we stitch the design on. Uh, fuse and seal goes onto the back, 
and we fuse it permanently to the front of another card. So basically, a card in half makes a card each yep. and every time. Um, and that's for if you want the inside of the card to be really beautiful. Yep. Obviously, you don't have to do that. No. Nope. Um, you, you can, can have cover the inside with some scrapbook paper or just leave it the back, yep. and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but just, just a simple way. A little nicer finished result, you know, mm -hmm. and still cheaper than a card that you buy at the store. Yeah, and if you haven't used Fusion Seal before, this is just another, um, or if you have, this is another great way to oh. use it. It's a fabulous product. Remember, it's not a situal product, but it will you know, essentially fuse anything to anything that can handle the heat. Yeah, and we'll get into the stabilizers in a second. Uh, and then uh, Carrie mentioned we have a line of card blanks. Uh, we'll start here, uh, blanks by OESD. Uh, and the reason we did this was, you know, we were using craft paper years ago and you get end up with different weights and everyone wanted to know what the weight of the paper was. And it just was a little tricky. And then you had to find an envelope that, that fit the card. And mm -hmm. so we said, we can do this better. And so we created card blanks. Mm -hmm. um, so those are available for you, but you don't have to use them. Nope. It's just totally a convenience thing. Yep. But if you do uh, not use ours, make sure you get the heaviest card stock that you can, something yep. that feels really thick so that, mm -hmm. again, it's going to stand up to that stitching. Totally. So let's talk a little bit about the stabilizers we use when embroidering a card. Yeah, there's actually two. Well, there's probably more than two options, but we yep. suggest two different things. So a stable stick tearaway, which is what you saw in our tutorial video. And mm -hmm. again, that's the sticky uh, stabilizer uh, that you can stick the card to. Um, this is a medium weight stabilizer. We are going to cut it away because you don't want to risk that you rip the card in the process of ripping the stabilizer off. Yep. And we use this stabilizer a ton. This is yeah. kind of one of the go-tos in your stabilizer assortment mm -hmm. um, just because it is such a versatile stabilizer. Yeah, it's great for a lot of things. Um, we actually do make it in a cutaway as well. Like Jordan said, we use no. the tearaway in this uh, application. It is actually a little bit lighter weight than the cutaway, so it yep. works perfectly here. But it's also great for hard to hoop items such as collars and napkin corners, uh, cards obviously, um, wovens are great. So it is, it secures the card to the hoop without needing to tape it because you're actually going to stick it to the hoop, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. um, if, however, you didn't have this on hand, there's another option, obviously. Um, medium weight tearaway works just fine. Yep. Um, but in this case, then you would use our um, expert embroidery tearaway tape right on the corners to secure the card in place. Mm -hmm. um, what I will just say is make sure when you do that, just tape a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it shouldn't affect your card, that tape. It's, it's a kind of a low tack. But some people really press it on there and, yeah. you know. Yeah, normally we're like, tape away, right? And mm -hmm. in this is kind of one of those cases where we, we, you know, we always tend to like, we just kind of go back on ourselves because now we say, don't tape away. Right. Be really careful. You can see in our example in this hoop, the tape is just barely on the card, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to risk that you tear your card. Um, that would really stink. Yeah. So, yep. Um, and the tearaway tape and fusion seal, like we mentioned, mm -hmm. want to give them a little bit of time because they are not stabilizers, Correct. but they're very important parts potentially to this um, project. So like Jordan was saying, the tearaway tape, um, it's, if you don't have tearaway tape in your toolbox, I mean, you, you just should, because it's great for keeping things out of the way, um, mm -hmm. for um, taping the cards in place. And it won't, this is a won't with an asterisk, uh, asterisk won't leave uh, residue or tear your card. And that is with you being conscious to not, you know, yeah. really crank on it um but it's a it's a great tool yeah. um and no then, cranking no cranking okay always a bad idea and then fuse and seal so fuse and seal again not a stabilizer it's a specialty product um this is that iron-on adhesive um this is great for more than just sticking cards to front of cards right you can use this anytime mm -hmm. like maybe you embroidered out some designs and you want to um we we have a awesome sample somewhere around here where we actually applicate designs to a metal bucket yep. and just fuse those on with an iron. You can use it for if you have Boy well, Scout, Girl Scout applicate, patches. You stitch it on cork and then the Stick corch goes on the bucket. You didn't, we didn't actually stitch on the bucket. Anyway, slightly off topic. Sorry. The, but it's really great when you want to stick something to something and you don't want to actually sew it. Yep. As um, long as it can take heat. Uh, also, mm, I think the most basic thing is for patch, Boy Scout patches, Girl Scout patches. Yep. Um, it's great for that. It is permanent. Oh yeah, that's not coming off. Nope. Okay, so we showed you how just kind of the basics of the assembly of a card. Now we're gonna show you how can you, you can use applique when you make a greeting card.
Really the same process, just the minor difference being applique, um, but really fun because you get to personalize with your own fabric and uh, your own sense of style in the design. Yeah, I love the applique versions because, um, A, like you said, you can really, they could be totally different. You know, this is in brights, but you could do in pastels for a baby. You could put sure. an initial in that middle part. Um, uh, this is applique greetings uh, collection one, two, six, one, five. Good job. Um, also, though, it shows off another one of our great products, which, you know, we can't help but share, which is Fuse and Fix, um, which is that mm -hmm. sticky, fusible web um, that helps kind of keep those uh, appliques in the right spot. Yep. And then the other thing that was kind of snuck in there, but the, and it's kind of funny because in that design, it doesn't matter that much, but that we give you mirrored applique templates mm -hmm. uh, for many of our collections. So that way you don't have to do the process of mirroring them when you're, um, when you're making your applique pieces. Yeah, every collection is going to come with a PDF on it. Uh, it will either will be located on the CD, on the USB, or in your My Designs folder on our website. Yeah. And in that PDF, if there is applique, you will find these templates, um, which you saw we printed on a sheet of Fuse and Fix and then trimmed, trimmed that out. So basically it saves you, you know, putting it on a light box and trying to trace it. Uh, it's really handy. Yep. So if I wanted to make this, how would yeah. I do it? Well, normally I would have said, you're crazy, but <laughs> you can make, um, you know, we talked about using lightweight designs, right? Mm -hmm. But this just is not right. That is not, um, just like always, there's never a hard and fast rule. Right. Wait there's, a second. There's never a hard and fast rule. Yeah, no. Except for this one, that there never is a hard and fast rule. But this time, when we said you can't use a dense design to make a card, guess in what? Fact, you, you can. can. So um, you we're gonna walk through how you would do that. It's actually really simple, and it's kind of a cool way to really use any embroidery collection you have, as long as the size is the right size. You're good. We just cheat. I mean, sometimes cheaters get ahead. Never. In this case. Okay, so here's how you do it. You pick your design of your choice, whatever mm -hmm. choice that is. On the card? And you embroider it on something else other than a card. Right. So our Lux Sparkle Vinyl, cork, yeah. felt, like my example here. I would suggest, you know, not doing it on quilters cotton. It's Fair. better with something that has a little bit of stand upiness. Yes. One of my favorite words, cork, you know, like you said, felt, something that's thicker. You don't want it to pucker either, of course, mm -hmm. too. So, and then after you're done, you trim it nicely to size uh, so that it would fit beautifully on the card and then fuse and seal, which is a common theme through making cards. Mm -hmm. um, you would just fuse that to the card. Right. So it's really that simple. Um, this is, we, we stepped it out for you. Um, it's kind of funny because this topic is a, a big kind of looms large for people, mm -hmm. but it's really so simple that it's almost like, wait, that, that was it? But here's where we stepped it out so we can sort of explain it a little bit more. Um, we suggest almost always putting fusible woven, which is our um, sort of uh, interfacing type product mm -hmm. to the back of your, whatever you're gonna embroider on, if it has any stretch. Felt is a, is a fabric or a substance that can be, has a little bit of give sometimes. Um, so you put a piece of fusible woven on the back um, and then hoop your stable stick or your stabilizer um, put your piece of felt down, yep. right? And in this case, then we use a topper. Because it's felt. Because it's felt and it has kind of that fuzzy surface. The topper helps keep those stitches up. Yep. Um, and then your embroider is normal, right? So there's no um, placement stitch in this case like there was for a traditional card design. You're just gonna embroider on a piece that's gonna end up being bigger than your card. But make sure your design is smaller than your card. Very important, yep. Okay. And then when it's done embroidering, you're gonna take it out of the hoop, you're gonna remove your topper, take remove the stabilizer as you would, mm -hmm. and then trim the design, the felt piece, just a little bit smaller than the front of your card. Like this one here. Ta-da. So you can see here, you have the trimmed design, um, your piece of fuse and seal, which is the same size as your piece of felt, mm -hmm. and your card. Full card, right? Not yep. half card. Um, and then you go through that same process, right? You're gonna fuse the fusion seal to the back of the felt, let it cool, and then fuse that to the card. So you've hidden the back of your embroidery mm -hmm. and embroidered a dense design onto a card. Um, and it looks like a million bucks. If you were gonna buy that card- This is super classy. Yeah, you know, you go to the card aisle, and there's those ones that like are, need the fancy envelope because mm -hmm. they're real fat yep, and they cost like $10. They're two stampers. Mm, two stampers. Yeah, these might be hand deliverable. <laughs> that too. Yeah. Hey, you can mail anything. You can, two stamps. Oh. 
<laughs> two stamps. Two stamps. Um, and so we just showed you felt, but of course you can do the same thing with cork or with our Lux Sparkle Vinyl. Yep, it's a little tough to see, but this in the hoop here is a piece of our white Lux Sparkle Vinyl, um, and then fuse that to your card. I believe they also use Lux Sparkle Vinyl on the applique as well, just to add a little extra something, something. And if you don't know... Sparkle makes everything better. Yeah, that should be our new... Um, yeah, embroidery yeah. makes everything better, and sparkles just extra Makes nice. it better -er. better -er -er. Yeah. There we go. Oh, we're um, today. Terrible. <laughs> so, speaking of, if you don't know about Lux Sparkle Vinyl, uh, we have 14 colors now. Whew. I know. And Sparkle Vinyl is really cool. It is a um, sparkly fabric. It's not really <laughs> a fabric. It so. It's sparkles. <laughs> um, it's almost the, the, it almost feels like how um, cork does. It's got a kind of a, 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 a body, a, a woven backing. Yep. Um, it is perfect for machine embroidery because it mm. is smooth. It doesn't have, the, the glitter is like sealed in. It's yeah, not it, like It's rough. not heat transfer vinyl. If you're mm -hmm. familiar with that from crafting, it's super thin and, you know, it, just this is designed yep. with embroidery in mind. Yep, and you can throw it in the wash. So if you use it on applique with, uh, let's say, a T-shirt or something, exactly. not in the card situation, um, you can put it in the wash. It's safe mm -hmm. to iron. I usually stick a ironing um, pad uh, oh, yep. mm -hmm. yeah. over the top of, the top of it, you but go. you can iron it. Um, and it comes in an 8-inch by 20-inch roll um, and tons of colors. And it's been really, really fun to play with. It is. Okay, brief commercial time. So... <laughs> told you we we're going to try to sell you something, but we just want to tell you for just a moment about Spree Club. So some of you probably are already Spree Stitcher Club members and get your designs on the first of the month every month, um, but we just want to take a second to explain because this is really the best deal that OESD offers. Yeah, I mean, the best part about a class is us sharing some special offers with you. This is our favorite one. So Yep, we're going to do we that. Go. So you can see a giant stack of CDs, right? And if you were buying everything we made, you'd have a stack like this in no time, mm -hmm. um, which is just a little bit of fun for organization. And so in the spirit of Marie Kondo, um, we have another option for you. Um, so on average in a given month, right, you would get about six, seven, eight uh, embroidery collections mm -hmm. every single month from us, variety of themes, techniques, ton of fun. Typically, we're about $200 designs a month, mm -hmm. um, and you can get all of that for $49.99 a month for Digital Club. So first of the month, all your designs in your My Design section, you have access to it all. You can download it really easily, um, and we'll show you really quickly where that is. So when you go and you download your designs from our website, there is a uh, little green button. Uh, it says Spree Club right next to My Designs. It's teal. Um, We'll compromise. We're, we're going to make fun of Jordan for being colorblind just for a second. So you click, <laughs> you click the Spree Club button and all of your designs are there by month and you can download them all. And the beautiful thing is they're there for forever. So yeah. you can come back and access. Um, we were just talking about at lunch that you could just go in there and you can search. Um, so if you need a dog design, you can find right. a dog design. It's search your designs. just that easy and download them. Um, yeah, and this so. is actually a great slide. Um, we don't talk about it much, but no. if you download your designs from our website, no. they... If you purchase downloads as opposed to physical media, they live on, in your My Design section forever and ever. Um, yeah. They are accessed by logging in, clicking on My Designs, and you'll see them all here. And then once you click into the Spree Club section, if you are a Spree Club member, yeah. then you see those and they're grouped by month. It's really nice. Yeah. And so again, you can join Spree Club for $49.99 a month. Um, and then that just recurs every month. It's like digital happy mail. Um, uh -huh. But speaking of happy mail, if you're more of the like to get things actually in the mail, um, we also have an option for a little bit more, $74.99 a month. We will put all those designs on a USB that's machine ready and we will mail it to you. Um, so all you have to do is open the package and plug it into your machine. Yep. And just to recap, because we just talked about that really fast, Spree Club is essentially your membership to OSD to get Everything we make every month delivered to you uh, before anybody else. It's a yep. super great option. Um, and if you love to embroider, it saves you almost 80, over 80% off of yep. your um, your <laughs> monthly budget of embroidery. So um, really quick, we just wanted to share that with you because it is a great opportunity. Um, and you can find that um, you can sign up for monthly on our website. Cool. So thanks for listening to our brief commercial. Back to the tools. Or let's look at the tools. Yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about the extra little things that you would need to make cards, um, really, or do any 
high quality embroidery, right? Uh, we are big, big fans of isocord thread. I know, Jordan, you love to talk about isocord. Um, if I can get my There it is. Click. <laughs> so, of course, we don't make isocord. We just love it, right? It, mm -hmm. Isocord is made in Germany still to this day. There's 423 different colors. Um, which is amazing. And if you want one of all of them, we could do that for you. No problem. Just let us know. Yep. Um, but, you know, I think that's kind of what we all do is we just start collecting the different colors mm -hmm. because there's no dye lots. The thread that you bought years ago is the same thread you bought today. It's super strong. This is the same thread used by a um, lot. Of, it's a commercial embroidery thread. And yep. we just absolutely love it. So um, if you are embroidering and you ever have issues with thread breaks, things like that, please give Isocore a try. It's going to change your world. Yeah, we, we hear, you know, sometimes we hear having issues with the machine XYZ yeah. we can pretty much guarantee that if you use Isocord quality is so good and it's meant to run at such a high speed that Isocord will not be the issue for um, those problems. Yeah I was talking with one of our local shops and he was saying that their technicians actually are saying that they're having less issues people bringing their machines less often because they switched, they switched yeah. Isocord it's pretty yep. cool. It's one of those things it's like gas for your car mm -hmm. sometimes paying a little bit more for something that makes your you know, that is so integral to the process is worth every penny. It's like buying organic. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So <laughs> the other question we get a lot with embroidery is what, um, embroidering specifically on cards is what needle uh, do I need to use? Um, and so the idea is we want to use the smallest needle possible that's still an embroidery needle. Mm -hmm. um, and so we are big fans of organ needles. Um, they just, they have so many different embroidery needles that are really specific. Like they have true sharps, which are sometimes hard to find. Um, they also have, um, when they have embroidery needles, what you're going to have is a larger eye on the needle and the scarf is going to be longer as well. And that's going to help the thread come through as the machine's embroidering. And organ needles can be used on all makes and models. We hear sometimes people are confused. Is this going to work on my machine? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you can certainly use whatever needle brand you prefer. Mm -hmm. We just really like the organ. It's something that we sell. So if you want to get them conveniently, but essentially the important information here is a 7511 sharp embroidery needle um, because paper doesn't, you know, kind of come back around that hole. <laughs> yeah. Fabric, if you use a, a thicker needle, you know, the weave is going to close that hole back up. Yeah. Once you put a hole in fabric or in paper, you got a big hole. So uh, smallest hole possible. And titanium needles are great. Oregon does have a really nice variety of titanium needles as well. They just last a bit longer. And if you're at all like us, change needles is not our favorite part of the job. So no. we try to not do it as much. And titanium needles give you a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. And um, if you don't own a pair of Perfect Snips, you might need another one if you do. Um, these are our favorite little scissors. You can see here on the tip, there's a little curved... Um, edge on the blade and it's really great for getting under those jump stitches especially on paper where you have to be extra careful you don't want to um, cut your paper by accident so you can just get that little hook under the stitches uh, to trim and um, they're just great uh, we would be remiss for not mentioning that cool next so while we were all watching the uh, videos and learning how to do this, I was back in the warehouse and I built you a bundle option. You're very fast. I'm sneaky quick. Okay, so what we've got is a package of our card blanks, the five by seven size, mm -hmm. stable stick tearaway, medium weight tearaway, and fuse and seal, plus the tearaway tape. Mm -hmm. um, you get two rolls, by the way. Yep. And then five uh, card collections, which we'll show you in a second. And it's all bundled up um, over $244 in product. And you can have this for $99. Yeah, it's just that we just we hear from you guys that you love these little um, classes and you just want to click one button and get all the things. Mm -hmm. um, it's like grocery shopping. You don't have to go up and down all the aisles. Totally. We got it in one place for you. So hopefully you um, take advantage of that if yeah. you are interested. But so we included five full collections and they're they're good ones. Yes. Uh, cheeky cards, which Super makes me cute. laugh every time. Mm -hmm. They are very cheeky. So they're a good um, just because kind of card. Yeah, adorable. And then Essential Sentiments, this is uh, just a classic. There's 20 different designs. Mm -hmm. um, these are really quick, simple to stitch out, and they kind of cover the whole gamut, so that way we need any topic of card. Yep. Applicate Greetings, which we showed you in the video. Um, beautiful applique designs, and if you just uh, type the uh, number, the pack number from each of these into the search bar on our website, you can actually look at the whole collection mm -hmm. if you want to as well. Yep. Breadwork Greetings. And this is a huge uh, collection, this is 62 really big, 62 designs. designs. Yep. This is really cool because it's actually um, frames mm -hmm. and greetings and designs. So five frames, seven greetings, and then the rest of the number is <laughs> made up of designs. So the frames you can see um, around that Thanksgiving card, it's the swirly 
legally part. Yep. Um, greetings meaning, you know, the, the actual sentiments, sentiments, mm -hmm. and then the designs being, you know, pumpkins. And, yeah. and, and this can be used for more than cards, too. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Yep. And then Stitch with Love. Stitch with Love, again, great cards, but also bookmark designs. Mm -hmm. um, and then you could actually just uh, adhere a little magnet to them as well if you wanted to wrap those uh, bookmarks, bookmarks around the yep. page. Yep. So again, a great bundle, uh, special value, $99 for you. You can order that from our website. You can just search uh, Cards Bundle. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're watching this video on our website, um, there'll be a link right below me to pick that up. So um, that is creating cards. We hope we made it nice and simple for you. And yeah. um, <laughs> like we said, it's it's a it's a very simple process. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it really easy if you um, purchase designs that are made for cards, but yeah. obviously you don't need to. Um, good quality blank cards and. Um, high quality stabilizer and you're ready to roll. And if you need somebody to send a card to, you're looking for maybe a new pen pal, join the Perfect Stitch. What is the Perfect Stitch you say? Well, oh, you're gonna, we're gonna have a pen pal program. Yeah, so the Perfect Stitch is <laughs> OESD's private Facebook group. And so there's lots of inverters and some of our staff, uh, our local shops, everyone just kind of hanging out in the happiest place on virtual earth. Uh, and so if you have a question, uh, you wanna show off something you're working on, please, I encourage you to join the Perfect Stitch. Agree to the rules real quick on your way in and then just have a blast. And uh, yeah, by all means, why don't you surprise someone and mail them a card? Yeah. So be a loss. Yeah. from all of us at OESD, thanks for the time. Appreciate you spending about the last half hour with us as we went through creating cards. Again, thank you always for your support and for choosing OESD. Um, our entire team just appreciates you so much and your business. So yeah. until we meet again from all of us at OESD.